So let's take a look at the starting line for Tivoli Gardens between the sticks, Kevin Watkins. And in front of him, a back three, Christopher Matthews, Barrington Price, and Odin Pennycook. Kevin Garnett, Anthony Thompson, Alton Lewis, and Tommy Lawrence, as well as Nikalia Fuller, Keanu Simpson, and Diego McKenzie complete the starting lineup for Tivoli Gardens. You expect Tivoli Gardens to line up in a 3 5 2 formation. I think they're doing this to accommodate not only the return of their former captain Barrington Price, but also Keno Simpson and Alton Lewis, two of the better attacking fullbacks in the league as well, to allow them free reign to get forward and pump those crosses into the box. As we take a look at the humble line starting lineup with Prince Daniel Smith between the sticks, uh, the rest of the starting lineup sees Keneal Hyde and Xavier Verga, who will provide the width for Humberline at the back, Ricardo Campbell, Dasha Satchwell in the starting lineup for Humberline, right beside Andrew Vanzi, who returns the captain of Mario Walters, Javon Smith, Andre Clennon, Afiba Chambers, and Shamari Dallas complete the starting lineup. 4 4 4 3 3 or 4 2 3 1 formation for Humberline. They'll be looking to consolidate in the middle and then trying to spring quick attacks, trying to get in their dangerous and quick attackers, such as. Clennon and Smith and Walters in behind to try and trouble this stubborn Tivoli Gardens defense as it can be. Tivoli Gardens, they started with the early press and had the opportunities here. Humble Lion also had a, a couple of chances, but Javon Smith in the end just lost the initiative. Decided to play that one inside the header off the post in the end Walters with the opportunity for Humble Lion and then this header from Vanzi easily gathered by Watkins the Virgo was wonderful ball inside to Vanzi and then the finish from Dallas in the 23rd minute took a deflection but Virgo was the one who teed that up to Vanzi with the assist Dallas had a lot of space to work with the control and then he fired the shot this one hits straight to Prince Daniel Smith who had to make that save. It came from Simpson who played that one inside the area and that's a wonderful finish. It really was from Alton Lewis. Powered his way through and that was a, a wonderful shot that beat Prince Daniel Smith for pace. And Lewis opening his account this season in the Jamaica Premier League. That was a wonderful save by Prince Daniel Smith. Fingertip save onto the crossbar. And then we thought this was a second yellow card, second book, book of the offense, but it was a straight red, which came as a bit of a surprise to be honest. Maybe a second yellow card, maybe. But the straight red was a bit of a surprise. And uh, that was a fantastic challenge from a FIBA Chambers. How did he manage to get his foot around there? And then the header over the top. Andre Clennon missed opportunity. And then a wonderful save from Smith. As Timothy Gardens tried to get something there, but the person who got something across the line was Leighton. William, Lavon Williams, sorry, in the 75th minute of play. And uh, Williams converting from well inside the box. The go-ahead goal, and that was that for this one. Tivoli so Gardens with 16 shots, 8 of which were on target. Humble Line with 8 shots, 4 of them were on target. They were the more physical team, Humble Line with 16 fouls. Three yellow cards and one red card in their direction. Uh, Tivoli Gardens had more corner kicks, 42. Humberland had the majority of the possession at 58%. It was a really, really tough game. You're, you and your team dug in and you're the man of the match today, Xavier and Virgo. Talk us through your performance first. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a regular routine for me, you know. I always try to give my best for the team every time I go out there on the field. You were whipping in some really dangerous deliveries all game, not only from free kick opportunities, but live balls as well. Is that something that you really try to focus on? Well, it's, as I said, it's a regular routine, something that I do in practice every day. It, it, it is a normal thing for me to just come here, play football, 
the way that do best to help my team get the three points. That win was extremely important for your playoff hopes as well. What is the feeling now moving into the rest of the season after that game? Well, I mean, coming out of five games without a win, this one really meant a lot to us because you know we have to dig in very hard and push ourselves away from the teams that are behind us. All right, great game. And congrats on the man of the match and congrats on the win. Thank you very much.